ただいま近くにおりません。Hello, foolish mortals! Welcome to my very first Sims 4 video. Today, we're doing a fun little creative sim challenge. We are making some of the Animal Crossing's best girls. Yes, that's Rosie, Goldie, and Isabel. I plan on making more characters in the future, but I wanted to just test the waters a little bit with these three. First, we're beginning with the peppy cat villager Rosie. I start off with one of these EA faces and just kind of tweak things around until I'm satisfied. That's really all I do anytime I make new sims. But I was a bit inspired to base Rosie here off of some random cosplayers I just found while googling around. Starting with some basic custom content like eyelashes and a skin overlay, I begin to work on her features. I wanted her to have a longer, slender face than the other two girls I made, and to have somewhat cat like attributes. Let me tell ya, I have been so obsessed with Animal Crossing Pocket Camp lately. I literally made these girls because I was in between waiting for the animals in my game to rotate and give me new quests. And I definitely can't wait for March to come around because I will 100% be buying the new Animal Crossing for the Switch. So if I just so happen to ghost you around March, I'm probably nuzzled in my bed with my Switch with like 60 hours already logged into my new game. I mean, that's if it's good, of course, but you know, it probably will be. Making these three took me nearly two hours in total to create, so I tried my best to cut it down into 12 minutes worth. I'll of course link all the CC in the description box, but honestly, it might take me a while, so if I miss something, please feel free to let me know. So, when it comes to Rosie, I gave her the aspiration of friend of the world. I think that seems pretty appropriate. I mean, she's very preppy and outgoing in Animal Crossing, so it seems fitting to make her just as friendly in The Sims as well. I also gave her the traits of self assured, outgoing, and self absorbed. She's always talking about being a pop star and how cute she is in Animal Crossing, so these traits just seem suitable. Out of the three girls I made, I wanted Rosie to look the most trendy and hip. I based a lot of her off of Ariana Grande, I mean, if you can't already tell. But my thought process was that she has to be the one to look the most bold and the most confident. Since Goldie and Isabel are a bit more reserved, I wanted Rosie to be the one to stand out. Oh, and I gave her the last name Bouquet because that's her name in the Japanese version of Animal Crossing. And I just thought it was cute, you know? Like a rose flower arrangement. I gave her the cat ears and the tail, and she looked so stinking adorable. I was so surprised to be able to find animal ears that had different colors, like red and blue. Typically, the ears I found were like leopard print or neutral colored. I tried my best to stay within Rosie's color scheme. She has a palette of blues, pinks, white, and even a bit of yellow. So, when I found this sweater, I was so ecstatic. I love the pink and yellow color combo and thought it matched her color scheme quite nicely. Ooh, let me tell you, I love this outfit. 10 out of 10 would wear if it was real. Rosie came out just as cute and sassy as I was hoping she'd turn out, so that's always nice. What do you think? She's so precious. We got the color scheme and cat ears down, we got the personality and theme down, and we got ourselves an anthropomorphic Miss Rosie. And let's move on to little Miss Goldie now. Goldie has a color scheme of yellows, browns, and greens. Her and Isabel have a similar color palette, the only exception being that Isabel also includes white, red, and blue. In the Animal Crossing games, Goldie is portrayed as this book obsessed golden retriever. Looking back, I completely made the mistake of not giving her the nature loving trait that The Sims offers. I ooped. I'm sorry. I'll fix it, I promise. I gave her the last name Dora because that's her name in the Italian version of Animal Crossing. Also, Dorato in Italian means golden, so, fun fact. I wanted her skin tone to be more tan, sort of a golden bronze, if you will. So, I'm just doing the same thing I did with Rosie, just tweaking some sliders around and whatnot until I'm happy with her facial features. For Goldie, I gave her a shorter, rounder head than I did with Rosie. 
In the Animal Crossing games, she has a very egg-shaped, kinda round head, so I thought a cute small head would fit her very well. Definitely out of the three I made, she turned out to be my favorite. I tried on some different skin custom content just to see which ones fit her the most. Until eventually, I just moved on to her hair. I didn't have any puppy or dog ears to give her, so instead I just thought pigtails would work well on her. The pigtails sort of mimic the silhouette of floppy dog ears, at least that's what I think. This hair here also came with some bows, and she looked so cute. I love her so much. Oh my gosh. The bows even came in a green, and she just looks so innocent. With the help of mods and custom content, I also changed her height. I made her shorter than the other two girls, and gave her wider hips and a smaller chest. Whereas with Rosie, I made her about average height and a very slim frame. I love how in her thumbnail, it's literally just a forehead. I'm so sorry, Goldie. I feel your pain. That's literally how I look when I drive. Even with her makeup, I wanted it to look very natural and semi-matte. I figured she probably wouldn't be the type to be too interested in makeup. She'd probably be more like the type to go on nature walks and to lose herself in a good book. I mean, that's how I portray her anyway. I gave her some comfy, cozy, and very casual clothes that fit her color palette perfectly. She looks so cute and I can't get over it. She looks so relaxed and I think she turned out to be a pretty good humanization of Goldie. What do you think? I love her personally. Here she is in final form. I really missed the mark by not giving her the nature loving trait, but by the time I put these girls in the Sims gallery, I'll have hopefully fixed it by then. Aside from that, I think she's stunning. She's so small and cute. Her colors match really well, and her traits are almost the right ones. But with that, let's move on to best girl, Isabel. Isabel is the iconic Almost secretary Shih Tzu from the Animal Crossing series. Her popularity has even led her to be a playable character on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and Isabel, I would say, is the poster child of Animal Crossing. If not her, then definitely KK Slider, I think. Ooh, I should make KK Slider next. I think Isabel was the toughest and took me the longest to create compared to Rosie and Goldie. With Isabel, she has m a much more iconic outfit and characteristics that had to remain the same. With Rosie and Goldie, I could at least take some creative liberties. I tried to make her features more adult than the other two, so I gave her smaller eyes, a stronger jawline, and wider cheeks, things like that. I wanted her to look as though I'm an adult, and I have my life together, you know? The Sims doesn't really offer a businessy kind of aspiration, so instead I gave her the city native one. I mean, I think it's kind of fitting. She helps you with your town, and in pocket camp she helps you with your camp. So, I mean, I guess she has some knowledge of cities and stuff, right? I don't know. That was just my thought process at the time. I couldn't really deem any of the other aspirations fitting anyway. And for her traits, I gave her outgoing, ambitious, and clumsy. There were a few other traits I debated giving to her, but these three stood out the most to me. I bounced around the idea of giving her the good trait and the romantic trait, but eh, just didn't want to pick them. Just like I did with Rosie, I made her last name her name in the Japanese version of Animal Crossing, which is Shizue. I gave her some cute everyday business lady makeup. Sort of an in-between with Rosie and Goldie. Like, she wears more than Goldie, but less than Rosie. But still noticeable, um, everyday makeup, if that makes sense. I downloaded a ton of these bangs custom content, as you can see, and I 10 out of 10 recommend them. I think without the bangs, her entire as a whole wouldn't nearly be as recognizable. So face-wise, she's pretty much done at this point. I just needed to work on her outfit now. And let me tell you, I was getting so frustrated trying to pick out an outfit for her. A bunch of CC was clashing and some things just looked off. 
Like, I got so upset to the point I was just wanting to stop altogether and just exit my game totally. But thankfully, things worked out at the end, and I found a sweater that saved the day for me. It was like right at the bottom of my tops category, and uh, I'm just so happy it worked out. When customizing her body type, I made her thicker than the other two girls, and made her a little above average height, and I also gave her wider hips and a bigger bust. Goldie is the one that turned out to be my favorite out of the three, but I think Isabel is definitely the most recognizable out of the group. She's got the same outfit, the same hair shape, I mean at least in my opinion, I think she looks the closest to her actual character. After dressing her in some pantyhose and some suitable yellow shoes, Isabel is officially complete. Which means we're done with all three girls. You already know my favorite, but which one is yours? The cute and sassy Rosie, the friendly, outdoor-loving Goldie, or the ambitious and clumsy Isabel? Leave your comments down below so I can see what you think. Make sure to download the matching custom content so you can have these girls in your game too. I'll link my Sims Gallery information down below as well. And hopefully, by the time this is posted, these girls should be on there. I hope you enjoyed my first Sims 4 video, and here's some more to come in the future. I have tons of fun ideas to share with you all, so stick around and let's go on this journey together. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out, I'd appreciate it very much. And thanks for sticking around, see you next time, bye!